Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. Nice to see you after a long summer. It's been a while. I've uh, been off doing dad stuff, been off doing work stuff. I've uh, been having some changes in the family and in the work life, and things are starting to settle back down to some sort of reasonable form of normal. And there was a little thing like helping get the Antic 16 release out the door and working on a few other things. So, I was working on some icons the other day for a couple apps I'm working on for the MX-16. Oh, did I say that? MX-15, MX-16, whatever. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Project. And I needed a couple icons, so I was using Penta uh, to make some icons. And I was happened upon using Mirage to, uh, you know, to, to look at images the way you do. So let's crack open, and there's a big limitation with Mirage, and it doesn't strike you at first. I'm going to go into my uh, wallpaper folder here, and I'm going to open up something with Mirage. And, and this is great, and let's say you're browsing photos or something. Well, there's no, there's no print feature in case you need to print something. It seems is a seemingly huge oversight. I don't know why they would leave out printing out of an app. Well, they did. So what are you gonna do? Not not a whole lot. So I was looking for a solution to print files, and I downloaded an application called PhotoPrint. Now PhotoPrint, uh, I've done a video on it before, and on the Annex side of things, so I kind of already knew about it. PhotoPrint is kind of like the old, and actually not even old, it's still in use in some form or another, the Windows Photo Printing Wizard. It's, it's, it is very handy for printing a lot of photos at once. Photo print, here it is. Photo print, special, utility offering special feature for printing digital photographs. It's got a lot of features um, in it. I find it useful when I want to print a bunch of photos, like 5x7s or regular old you know wallets or whatever I want to print three or four four or five or even eight photographs to one sheet of paper um, you know you get a little love on the inkjet or whatever this is a great app so I downloaded it installed it no problems in the standard repositories and what you get if you go in one way I like to to print is let's say I got a whole bunch I'm gonna, I'm gonna select these eight wallpapers up here You'll right click on it now. You see, you've got the open with barrage is the default action. If you go to open with, you get all these other things. Now, some of these I've added, so don't get too excited. Pinta, I've been using that for image editing here lately. <sighs> GIMP is really, really, you know, powerful and awesome and all that stuff. But you know what? I'm, a, I'm an MS Paint kind of guy, and Pinta's got a lot of nice features. And, you know, check it out. It's a nice, simple image viewer. But... You can open with photo print. It's going to take all eight of those photos and it's going to put them. Look what it does. It's going to put them on this page. Now I've already set mine up to use English. You can set up Eng English or, or rather, American style paper or European ANSI designations. Whatever you can, you can choose how many rows and columns you have. I have two rows and columns. Of this so this gives me four photographs on a sheet of paper. You can you can up that here like so, and you get more of the photos on one sheet of paper. If you have more than one page, you can use this little counter thing to go to the next page, and you see all the stuff. And when you're done, getting it all set the way you want, there's even some minor image correction you can do here, histograms and stuff. I, that's a little beyond what I do. I just want to spit them out of the printer so i got something to look at. Um, you know, you go up to file and print, and it does its thing. Okay, this is great. Separate app, kind of like Windows Photo Printing Wizard. I kind of dig it. it. I'm I'm adding it to my usual set of stuff that I print. Okay, fine, Do it's great for printing lots of photographs, but you started with Mirage. Why why are you dealing with Mirage? Well, it turns out, and this is one reason I think Mirage may be one of the more perfect fits for XFCE, even better than XFCE's usual Ristretto image viewer. The guy that wrote Mirage knew he didn't have everything in here and he knew there might be stuff that people wanted to add and he actually left a feature called custom actions and there's some already predefined you can open this photograph in GIMP 
you can create some thumbnails. You, this other one here actually creates thumbnails of everything in the directory, the, the second one here. Uh, you can move it to a favorites folder. This is actually handier than you might think. If you're going through a bunch of photos, like I've got pictures from a backpacking trip to New Mexico, and there's like 300 photographs. Maybe I only want eight of them or nine of them. You can go through, you pack those, you hit control alt f because there's a shortcut key to find. It moves them to a separate folder, and then if I want to print those, I go to that folder in Thunar and print them off. Easy. Or you can set it up how I'm going to show you. You can do it in Mirage. So we're going to use this to our advantage. It gives you all these. If you go to configure, it's going to give you all these little shortcut things that it knows how to do things with. So we're going to add an action to print to print a photo. Print photo or print image. Let's say that's more generic. And the command we want to use is photo print. That's just the name of the app in this case. And we're going to use percent F is the file name and path. I already looked this up once. Capital F. Now one thing you do have to do, and it's a little bit annoying, you have to give it a shortcut key. The shortcut key doesn't have to actually work. And I'll give you a hint, because if you're printing, you normally want to use Control P. Control P is the preferences dialog in Mirage. So if you use Control P, it's going to let you set it up, but it's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to use Control P just because I'm an idiot. I just said all those things that I just said. You can also set it so that it performs the images performs this action on all images in the batch. I don't recommend this for printing because it, it will it will run photo print every time for every file instead of sending the entire batch to photo print. So this gives you lets you print one image. Okay. So now if we go up to custom images, you can set your own thing here. Print image. And now it's going to start photo print with just the one image in it. Ah excellent. And if we want a full page we just set photo print up to one column, and yay, we've got what we want. We can also set it up, like I mentioned, we can, to print the entire folder that we're in. There's no in-between. You can't choose files in Mirage. That's not its thing. It's a viewer. It's a really, really fast viewer. So you can't choose like multiple images to view. But you can do that thing with the favorites menu I mentioned if you want and then you could go to that folder and say print all images in folder and then it's photo print. Now photo print we're going to use the percent %l this time and if you look that says list of files space separated photo print can handle more than one file name as an argument naturally because that's what you're actually doing when you send it send the files to it from from a right click action we don't need this batch thing, even though you might think to yourself you do, you actually don't. Click OK. Whoops, I forgot to set the print action. See what I mean? It's kind of irritating. I'm going to set up some crazy Control Shift P thing. I don't even know. Close. And now, when we go to print all images in folder, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to load all the images in the folder and throw it into photo print. And you can see now I've got a lot of images in here. It's going to do like eight pages just four pages at a time but they're there and you can print and do whatever you want to your heart's content this is actually kinda cool app. it's got all kinds of you know nerdy looking options uh, but it's meant to be more simple for getting your stuff out than say trying to load a graphic in GIMP and printing it out or even loading a graphic in Penta and printing it out because you can print multiple photos so there you go my tip for the day, my first tip back from over the summer, um, I'm getting back into this a little bit, you know, drop me a post in the bottom. If there's something you want to see, let me know what it is. Um, you know, as people who watch this channel know, I generally do not do reviews. I do do what's news for MX and, MX and Annex. Uh, I've done the occasional Zubuntu video. I've done the occasional Linux Lite video. Let me know what you want to see. If there's a question you've got, Throw it out there. I live primarily in the Debian slash Ubuntu world. Really, I live primarily in the MX15 and Annex world, which is Debian. Uh, so if there's something you want to know, particularly one of those operating systems, drop me a post in the comments. I make no promises. Maybe I'll make a video. Maybe I won't. But I will answer. Check out my comments. I try to answer you every time. Hey, for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mepiscommunity.org or throw up a post at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.